hey what's up guys this is KD Cloudy and the first Android O developer preview is here and of course I flash it on the Google Pixel and yes I am aware of the fact that most people don't even have Android Nougat yet but oh well here we are but one thing to keep in mind is that this is not the official update the official update drops sometime in August or September and this one here is just the developer preview and it just gives us a glimpse of what we can expect from the ne next version of Android. Yeah, so let's begin with the installation process. First, you need to have a supported device which includes the Nexus 5X, the 6P, the Pixel, the Pixel XL and the Pixel C tablet and then you just need to flash the file like a regular factory image package and it will wipe all of your data so you need to keep that in mind. And also you don't need the SDK necessarily to carry out the installation but however I'll leave a blog post by my buddy Adnan with the full set of instructions linked in the description. So yeah let's begin with the new features and firstly the logo that pops up when you press the Android version which you can call the easter egg is this yellow thing which looks a lot like the target logo but whatever. But apart from that the first thing which is new is this new ambient display which has the clock placed slightly upwards towards the center and when you want to activate it just double tap on the notification and once you unlock the phone it looks a lot like android nougat no visual difference on the home screen whatsoever except for the new wallpaper and then once you swipe down the notification tray you can notice a couple of differences in design and to be honest i'm not really a fan of this design the old one in nougat looked a lot neater and better but it's a developer preview so we can expect this to be fixed. But coming back to the notifications, you can now half swipe it and you will get an option to snooze it for like 15 or 30 minutes and after that period of time it will notify you again. And I'm not really sure if this feature will be useful after all. Apart from this, it also has a couple of more notification enhancements which I will get to in a second. Now the next set of changes are tucked up in the settings which itself has a new icon. But the first change is the visual overhaul. It's more black and white now instead of just blue and white and everything looks a lot categorized like Wi-Fi and mobile data are in the network category and it looks a lot like the Windows 10 settings. Maybe it's just me but everything looks a lot different but with just a fresh coat of paint. But however I did find some miscellaneous changes here and there like you can now add new ringtones easily and then you have some intelligent Wi-Fi features and also Wi-Fi calling. Some do not disturb rules and stuff like picture in picture like iOS but that doesn't seem to work right now even on YouTube. And lastly you get some more features in Android O tucked over the system UI tuner where you can change the navbar layout and some stuff. Pretty basic and it doesn't really work half the time. And lastly the downloads app has been renamed into the files app. It's, it's exactly the same but with just a new name. And one last thing which I noticed when you swipe up the app drawer in the pixel launcher, the navigation bar turns dark or black in color. And that's basically it to Android O. And if that seems less, well, you're right. But that's basically the point of a developer preview because most of the changes are in the inside, in the code. There are loads of new APIs, a new media rendering engine, then you got adaptive icons and, and background limiting and all sorts of geeky stuff but more importantly the new notifications could potentially be the biggest change in Android O. So what's happening is that developers can now build apps in such a way that each type of notification can be customized in terms of how it gets buzzed or does it take up the entire screen or shows the unread notification count in the form of a badge on the app icon and all sorts of stuff. But the problem is that no app on the Play Store can take advantage of these APIs and even the Google app, it just partially supports it so unfortunately I can't really demonstrate that feature. But apart from these features I just talked about, everything is basically the same and the performance has gotten a bit slow even on the Pixel, the battery life is normal and there are some weird glitches here and there which again are to be expected but they aren't that major. But if you want to have this as a daily driver I would suggest you to reconsider your decision but one thing to note is that the second beta for the public will be out soon enough so you can install that through OTA if you're being impatient. And that's basically it. But before ending, I have a small request for Google. Please, please call it Android Oreo. But either way, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Cheers.